The work the canine teams do is often dangerous, and all of the handlers know that their brave, loyal partners could lose their lives in the line of duty. For the handlers, it's like losing a family member. On April 16, 2008, veteran canine handler Sergeant Marcel Gibault lost his dog Fred in the line of duty. I never had any children, uh, and my dog is my son. Like, we're together 12 to 15 hours a day, every day. Uh, I spend more time with Fred than I do with my wife. It's just the nature of the work. Like it or not, you develop a, a mutual respect for each other. And he sees me getting out of my truck, and I'm walking up to him, and man, he could have shot me in the heart. I just knew there was something wrong. He looked at me so sad, and he says, I hope you're not looking for your dog. I said, yes, as a matter of fact, I'm looking for my dog. He's, he just grabbed my shoulder. He said, I'm really sorry to tell you this. He said, but I think your dog just got killed on the highway. So I got up there and it's like, I look at the monument and it just hit me, right? Like, oh, I know what I'm here now, right? So I said to myself, the whole time last night, I was re writing this and I'd be crying a little bit and I'd say, okay, I got to read this over and over and over and over and get through it. And never mind the tears now, right? Like, you know, grab a hold of yourself. It's tough because it's almost saying like, Okay, now your name is on there, now it's goodbye, Fred, right? And don't want to to do that. <sighs> okay, still hard, but I'll get over it. The memorial to the dogs who fell in the line of duty stands at the RCMP K-9 Center at Innisfail. And so the K-9 handlers constantly work on their training never take anything for granted, and marvel in the gifts that their canine partners bring to every day. Oh, it's, it's a great comfort, especially when you're, you're, you're tracking and trying to apprehend someone. Um, you're not, sometimes you're not sure how many, uh, if they're armed, uh, what their intentions are when you find them. And knowing that it's always gonna be you and your dog, you're not just you know, in it by yourself. It's a, it's a tremendous comfort. Yeah, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not proud. I, I, I don't know. I love him with all my heart, and he cracks me up, and I'm sure he's probably sick and tired of hearing me talking in the truck and can hardly wait for retirement, but I have a good time with him, so. He'll do the tasks that we want him to do, but then, he, you know, let him be a dog. You know, he's, many a time, he'll, he'll chase his tail in the back of the truck or just, just be goofy, and uh, that's one of the best characteristics that he's got that, that I like, so he's... Yeah, he kind of suits his handler. <laughs> oh, I, I love my dog for sure. There's uh, no better partner in the world. Uh, I, don't, I never have to worry about um, if he's going to be there for me. Uh, most reliable backup uh, I could think anyone could have. Good boy. You won't find the members of the K-9 team bragging about their accomplishments. For the members, the pride is in the work itself. The RCMP's K-9 unit is known and well-respected around the world. Every year, law enforcement teams come to study the way the RCMP breeds and trains their dogs. For the members who work in the RCMP K-9 unit, it all comes down to a very simple thing, a profound relationship between an officer and their dog. <laughs> 